Hey YouTube, this is Jared with Jay Vallow. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review of the STI Ranger 2. STI is a company that's based here in Texas, uh, in Georgetown, which is right out of Austin, and they are the maker of high-end 1911s and a few AR-15 style rifles. Um, there's only, They have one or two handguns that are not made here in Texas and that is the Spartan and the GP6 which is no longer produced. The uh, Spartan is produced in the Philippines I believe and the GP6 is produced in Croatia. But uh, all their other models are handmade here in Texas like this model right here. They can range anywhere from say eight to nine hundred dollars all the way up on to three thousand dollars when you get into their really high end custom stuff. This um, MSRP on this one is about $1,200 right now and a, about a six month wait. My model um, is in about the $1,200 range. Um, I bought it second hand and then put some money into it. This is not a stock Ranger 2. We're going to do a quick safety check. Um, my th things I had done to it, as you can see, I had the trigger, I had a flat pad trigger installed. This is, I, I really like the flat pad because it really gives a positive purchase. It, it feels like I've got more control of the trigger, I don't have any creep. I also had a trigger job done. Um, <clears throat> the, uh, but uh, yeah, this flat pad trigger, it, it really feels, there's hardly any creep. And it has a nice clean break to it. It feels like a glass rod breaking. Another thing I had done was, as you can see, I've got a flush cut slide stop right here. It sits flush with the frame of the gun. <clears throat> I had uh, Larry McCormick thin grips installed. You can see just how thin they are. It's great for carry. They're very comfortable in my hand. They're not too fat. Um, I had the plastic mainspring housing removed and an Ed Brown chain linked housing installed. You can see it fits very nice with the frame of the gun. Hardly any gap whatsoever. I had new tritium night sights installed. These are Heine Ledge. These are the straight eights. As you can see they make kind of a figure eight with the front dot. And I also, one thing, my favorite part is a uh, STI is not known for their quality fi uh, finishes um, so I went ahead and had this refinished I didn't Cerakote it myself this time I didn't feel like doing it I had a melanite refinish which melanite is also used in some barrels um, from some manufacturers it's pretty neat this gun it is a bushingless design as you can see there is no bushing on it it is a bull barrel It has a spring, a two-piece spring uh, guide rod. It's sort of like in your Glock or Springfield or whatever. Um, only drawback to this is, is that uh, you do have to use this little plastic tool to get it, to take it apart correctly. Um, you can try and, you can take the uh, slide assembly and barrel off, but it will not go back on correctly and seat with the, uh, <clears throat> with the uh, slide stop it will it just will not see correctly so what you do is you put this little piece on like so you're gonna pop out the slide stop and it comes out You can see my gun's quite a bit dirty. I've got about three or four hundred rounds through it without cleaning. I use I like to use frog lube. To me that's that is the best lube I have used and it also makes cleaning your gun. As you can see, this dirt just wipes right off of it. It is the slickest lube I have ever used. I have yet to have a malfunction with this gun. It feeds everything I've shot through it except Winchester silver tip 
it just does the feed ramps it just does not want to load it and it jams up on the feed ramps but Overall, I've got about seven, eight hundred rounds through this gun, and like I said, I have not had a single problem with it. This is one of the most reliable handguns I have ever owned. The fit and finish on this gun is amazing. It's very, very tight, but very, it's very buttery smooth. It, it's amazing. A lot of people are on the Kimber bandwagon. Um, be honest this shit's all over Kimber this it's a no comparison reassemble is quite easy or reassembly excuse me off you're not supposed to drop a slide on a gun with a on a 1911 this causes lots of stress um, if you do it enough you'll start to get uh, accidental discharges uncontrollably it, I've seen it happen before you can talk to any gunsmith they will cringe when you tell them that you dropped the slide on an empty chamber but see the gun is very very tight It's just an awesome little handgun. It's great for carry. This is a commander size. This is the full size frame, but has the uh, 4.15 inch barrel. It's high. It's a lot more accurate than I will ever be. If you are looking to get into the high end 1911 game, um, I would highly recommend an STI. Um, Baseline, they're an amazing gun, and then from from there on, once you get into the aftermarket and start starting to customize them, it, it's the options are endless. It's amazing what you can do with these. The fit, the quality, it's, and you see how tight the slide fits to the frame. It's for just a twelve hundred dollar gun. That's that's awesome. That's great bang for your buck. The best part is. SGI is Texas made. This Texas logo, you cannot beat that. And that's pretty awesome. If you have any more questions, you want to know more about the gun, feel free to PM me or message me or email me or whatever is the easiest way for you to get a hold of me. Well, Y'all have a good one.